All right, everybody, it's Sunday morning. So if you've asked what my trailer setup is like, I, when I first came out here, I showed the trailer, but I uh, really haven't showed much since I've been here. There's my dirty truck. But uh, normally it's too windy out here to have the, the awning open, but it's rained and it gets water in there, so I'm let it dry out today. But this is my Palomino Real Light Off-Road Edition. Not that I really need an off-road edition, but there it is. 17 foot, seven inches long. That's my, uh, so it's pretty small me to live in. Um, let's go inside and take a look. This right here is, of course, my stereo. It's a DVD player, all that stuff built in. And come inside. There's the there's the table where I do all my eating and work and everything else. And of course, that's the only place I have for a trash can. And you also, you see, I have major cable management issues. I do have plenty of overhead storage in here. And, uh, that's my TV over there. It's a little crooked right now. There's the bed. That is a full-size bed. For some reason, whenever I bought it from the guy, he told me it was a queen size. I went and bought a queen size mattress put in there, and I've got it just crammed in there. It really doesn't fit, but anyway, it served its purpose. Uh, no pillowcase right now because I've stripped the bed. I'm getting ready to go do the laundry here in a minute. But on Sundays, I spend time on Sundays or on the weekends if I'm here, uh, just thoroughly cleaning the place, wipe everything down. Lots of dust out here. I wipe everything down kind of every couple of days, but on Sundays, I thoroughly wipe everything down, uh, clean the air filters on the air conditioner up there. Down there, that little space heater, that is all I need because I don't want to use my furnace because the furnace, of course, sucks up propane. Uh, that little furnace keeps this entire place warm. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was down to 30... Five degrees earlier this week i was sweating in here i had to turn it to uh, turn it way down it's going to be down to 26 in a couple of days but, uh, but that's what it looks like up there and of course that's where i sit and work and make videos and and do estimates and do all my work right there um my neighbor's place next door you can see it's just all dirt out here uh every Except for maybe two RV parks, everything is dirt out in this town. Uh, there's my kitchen area, not real big, just a two burner stove. Um, don't even have a pilot light, so I have to use that lighter over there to light everything. Uh, I need to replace that that blind. Um, previous person put it in there and it's jacked up, so I need to replace that. I keep forgetting to buy that. Uh, have to improvise a lot in here because it is so small. Uh, behind that curtain right there, there's actually two twin bunks behind there, but that's where I store my clothes. I've got some storage bins in there with stuff in it. Uh, I have one storage bin I used to put my dirty clothes in, that sort of thing. That way everything's out of the way. And of course, there's my refrigerator. And as you would think, it's a typical guy. Uh, I got Bloody Mary mix. Bottled waters, you know, plenty of beer at the bottom. I got ginger beer in there for making stuff. And uh, just lunch meats. Pantries up here. Pots and pans, dishes up there. Behind this door is the bathroom. Nothing fancy to see here, but that's the only place I have to store my my broom and the shower. Just got a skylight above it. And then that's basically it, man. This is so that's where I do my work. That's everything there. That's where I do. That's where I live for the time being. Now I have purchased a. Well, we're making a deal with my father-in-law. He's got a 31-foot fifth wheel. Uh, it's a little bit older, but of course it's bigger. We're thinking about uh, buying it from him, updating it, doing a little bit of work, and dragging it out here. However, I don't have a truck big enough to pull it. I don't have a Super Duty. I just have an F-150. So I may end up not going that route and may buy something else but get a little bit bigger. I need something about 20 to 24 foot with a slide out. If I had that, it'd be perfect. Matter of fact, this this trailer would be perfect if all I had was a slide out for my dining area. Um, actually, I would be perfectly fine in here, but kind of misjudged it when I picked this one up. Uh, definitely too small. Need to upgrade it and just get a little bit bigger. Don't have to go much bigger, just a little bit bigger. And uh, I'd be happy. Main thing I really need to do is to uh, eliminate the bunk area just have a larger bathroom in the back, a little bit larger kitchen area, um, larger sitting area, and just a, you know, a, a, it'll just open everything up. But I don't need the bunks. 
Um, most of the time, as you know, if anybody's ever been around RVs, your, your table converts to a bed. So if I need an extra bed, there you go. But if Dawn shows up, we just need the large bed. And if somebody else comes in, we just need a small one. So again, I don't need the, anything like a bunkhouse or something like that. But that's it. Oh yeah, so this right here, you guys might have seen my last video. Um, this is a curtain that uh, I drop down at night. Uh, keeps everybody from being able to see in at night. Uh, but for right now, I'm just got it tucked out of the way while I'm going in and out. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, temperature's gonna be about 70 today. Uh, so, you know, windows open, vents are open, uh, at least until it warms up later. I may have to close everything and turn the AC on because it does get a little hot inside here. Right now, as you can see, it's 68 degrees inside here. So, thanks for watching, guys. For those of you who ask what it's like in here, there you go.